Hello guys, Sako Studio here and for today, I am going to show you on how I was able to create this interior rendered image using SketchUp, Lumion, and Adobe Photoshop. For those of you who would like to download the SketchUp and Lumion file for this particular model, I had it posted in my Gumroad website which is called NDL2. You can download the SketchUp and Lumion file for free. The Lumion version used for NDL2 is Lumion 10 while the SketchUp version is 2020. So here is the interior SketchUp model for NDL2. It is a modern bathroom and a modern walk-in closet interior design. For the bathroom area, there are two vanity sinks and a wall-mounted water closet on the left side. Opposite to that is the shower area. For the shower area, there is a niche on the wall and a ceiling-hung rain shower and a glass shower enclosure. For the wall tiles, the tile textures on the left side is different from the right. I also added these small details in between the tiles. This is so that we could see the tile grout textures more clearly. I also made sure that the tile textures are not similar with one another. For the tile flooring, I also added the detail for the tile grouting and made sure that the textures are different from each tiles. And that's it for the bathroom design. For the walk-in closet area, the wardrobes are designed in a U-shaped manner and there is a small drawer in the middle. On the left side, there is a vanity dressing table with a small stool and the room access door is on the right. For the ceiling design, it is a cove ceiling with a mirror finish in the middle and there is a chandelier hanging onto it. For the flooring, it's a wood monotone tiles. And that is pretty much it for the SketchUp model. Let's now export the file and choose 3D model. We are going to convert this to a Colada file so that we import it into Lumion later. This is important since we might want to use some of the textures used on the SketchUp model when editing in Lumion. You can find the folder for the textures near the Colada file after exporting. So let's open Lumion. I am going to import the Colada file that we just did on SketchUp. Here is the imported Colada file. Let's first start off with the lightings. Let's put the ceilings and niche lights for the bathroom area and also the ceiling lights for the walk-in closet area. I also added some strip lights inside the wardrobes. After the lightings, let's start editing the textures for the materials. I decided to change the textures completely based from the SketchUp model. I've made the bathroom design more monotone and darker so that it would blend with the modern and rustic design of the walk-in closet. For the glass texture of the shower enclosure, I chose this specific glass texture. This would give us the wet look effect for the glass surface. Most of the tile textures have a high gloss and reflectivity settings. This would make the artificial lights reflect more on the tile surface, making it look smooth and polished. After the textures, I'm now going to add more objects on the interior design. We could put like a chair beside the shower area and a circular rug in the middle of the bathroom. Let's also add some clothes inside the wardrobes. We could adjust the colors of the clothes and I think it would be better if the colors are toned down. Let's now click the camera icon. I already captured two images and edited the rendering effects for one of them. The focal length used for the captured image is 31.9 millimeters. So here are the rendering effects that I used for this image. First, I used the bloom effects. Bloom amount should be 0.1. After the bloom, I used the sky and clouds effects. Position is 0.5 cloud speed is 0, master cloud amount should be 0 0.4, low clouds is 0, high clouds is 1, cloud direction is 0, cloud brightness should be 1, cloud softness is 0, low cloud softness removal is 0, sky brightness is 0 0.5, cloud preset is 1, cloud high preset is 1, and overall brightness should be 10. After the sky and clouds, I use the autumn colors effects. Hue is 0, saturation should be 1, range is 1, Hue variation is 0 and target layer should be 1. After the autumn colors, I use the lens flare effects. Streak intensity should be 0 0.8. Streak rotation is 1. Streak count is 5. Streak dispersion should be 0 0.6. Streak falloff is 1.7. Bloom amount is 0 0.3. Master brightness should be 1.8. Anamorphic streak amount is 0. Ghosting amount is also 0. Isolate brightness.
part pixels is 0, halo mount is 0, and lens dirt amount should be 0. After the lens flare, I use the analog color lab effects, style is 1.7, and the mount should be 0.2. After the analog color lab, I use the global illumination effects, sun amount is 0, fall of speed is 0, reduce spots should be 0.1, sun max effect distance is 10 meters, and preview spotlight GI and shadows should be on. After the global illumination, I use the print poster enhancer effects. Enabled should be on. After the print poster enhancer, I use the hyper light effects. Amount is 71.8% and enable in preview should be on. After the hyper light, I use the skylight effects. Brightness is 2. Saturation should be 1. Skylight in planar reflections and skylight in projected reflections should be on and render quality should be ultra. After the skylight, I use the sun effects. Sun height is 28.1 degrees. Sun heading should be negative 125.1 degrees. Sun brightness is 0.9. And sun disk size should be 0. After the sun, I use the shadow effects. Sun shadow range is 156 meters. Color should be 0.3. Brightness is 0.5. Interior exterior is 0. Omni shadow should be 0.9. Shadow correction is 1. Shadow type should be normal. And soft shadows and fine detail shadows should be on. After the shadow, I use the sharpen effects. Intensity should be 0.3. After the sharpen, I use the exposure effects. Exposure should be 0.6. After the exposure, I use the color correction effects. Temperature is 0. Tint should be 0. Vibrance is also 0. Brightness is 0.5. Contrast should be 0.5. Saturation is 0.9. Gamma correction is 1.1. Limit low is 0 and limit high should be 1. After the color correction, I use the reflection effects. Reflection threshold should be 25 centimeters. Preview quality is high and speed rate reflections should be on. For the edit reflection planes, I selected all of the materials which are glossy and reflective. And that is pretty much it for the Lumion rendering effects. Let's now render this image. Let's use the print size or 3840 by 2160 so that the image would be able to handle the post-production process well. Here's the result of the rendered image made using Lumion and let's now proceed with the post-production. So let's open the rendered image in Adobe Photoshop CC. Click the background layer and let's change it into layer 0. Then press OK. After that, press Ctrl Shift A to open the camera raw filter. Let's set the saturation to plus 7, vibrance to plus 6, the haze would be plus 21, clarity to plus 100, and let's set the texture to negative 40. After that, let's adjust the settings. We are going to lessen the black elements on this image as well as the highlights. Alright, this is good enough press ok. After the camera raw filter, let's add the Gaussian blur effect. Hold alt, then drag the layer 0 down. A layer 0 copy should come out. Then drag it above layer 0 without holding alt. Change the normal setting into soft light, then adjust the opacity to 35%. Go to filters, then select blur, and under the blur effect, select Gaussian blur. Radius should be 5 pixels, then press ok. After the Gaussian blur, let's add the high pass effect. Press ctrl shift alt e. A layer 1 should appear above layer 0 copy then press ctrl shift u the layer 1 should turn black and white change the normal setting into overlay and set the opacity into 25% go to filters and select others then select high pass radius should be 10 pixels then press ok let's now save this rendered image quality should be 12 and maximum for the small stool in the vanity area it appears that the shadow beneath it is somewhat not correctly formed we could fix that here in adobe photoshop cc so let's open the previously saved image, click the background layer, and change it into layer 0. Then press OK. After that, press P to enable the pen tool. I'm going to trace the outer outline of the right bottom footing of this tool. After closing the pen outline, right click your mouse and choose make selection. Feather radius should be 0 pixels, then press OK. We could copy the selected outline by pressing Ctrl C on layer 0. Then let's create a new layer by clicking this create a new layer tab. A layer 1 should come out. Then let's paste the copied outline from layer 0 by pressing Ctrl V on layer 1. 
let's add a drop shadow effect for layer 1. This is so that we could add our own shadow beneath the right footing of the stool. Okay, I think this is good enough. Press OK. And as you can see here, I think the shadow beneath the stool looks better now. Let's now save this updated rendered image. Quality should be 12 and maximum. And that is pretty much it for the post-production process. Here's the difference between the rendered image with just rendering it with Lumion and after applying the post-production with Adobe Photoshop CC. I hope that you've learned something new from this video. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.